Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Felicia Lawrence. Scott is out on assignment tonight. We have so much to get to, so let's dive right in. IU grad students are entering their third week on strike amid an ongoing push for better pay from the university. And to make things trickier, it's finals week. So these grad student workers are hoping their absence from classrooms and grading doesn't go unnoticed. But there seems to be a bit of a stalemate on the Bloomington campus. Tonight, Rachel Kraus kicks off our big story with a look at what's next with this push to unionize. What do we want? A union. When do we want it? Now. Echoing around campus. We've got the power. What kind of power? Union power. The voices of grad student workers fill the air. Woo! They're entering their fourth week on strike. No union, no grades. No union, no grades. Picketing on campus through finals week. PhD student Cole Nelson says these grad student workers are instrumental at IU, especially during finals. Immensely, immensely vital. Graduate workers are grading huge percentage of tests, of uh, exams, of uh, papers. Nelson says many of them are starting to hear from the administration about potential penalties for the strike. The university has also on a number of counts threatened with potential firing of graduate workers. They consider this a uh, non reappointment of graduate workers. IU spokesperson Chuck Carney says students won't be penalized just for striking but they are considering their options for those who aren't fulfilling their duties. It's been a very few classes that have actually been disrupted, so we don't think in the end it's actually going to be a large number of people that would even be possible for uh, non-reappointment or something like that. So far, finals week disruptions have been minimal, and there are plans in place for faculty, even department chairs, to help with grading if needed. And while the school is meeting with grad student workers in general, Carney says they aren't budging on the issue of bargaining. They are all welcome and have come to these open meetings so they can continue to come to those. We are not bargaining as we've said all along and uh, that's not something that's going to change. IU standards are too low. Meanwhile, students tell us they're concerned that their attempts to unionize and negotiate with IU have so far been met with deaf ears. It's immensely frustrating. Um, uh, Somewhat chilling as well, um, but we really hope that through the pressure that we're applying, through the pressure that faculty, undergraduates, alumni, community members are applying on, on the administration, they will come to their senses. Union, yes. Union, yes. Well, tonight, we're starting to see IU faculty get involved. An all-faculty meeting is set for next Monday. It's the first time a meeting like this has been called since 2005. And professors on campus say they're concerned the university isn't taking steps to resolve the strike or address the issues in front of them. We've seen no invitation from the leadership for that, so we can only interpret it as um, intransigence bordering on incompetence. And under those circumstances, faculty who are really committed to the success of IU, we're here, this is our life career. We've dedicated ourselves to this, we're here for IU. And so we've taken the extraordinary step of reaching out to each other to try and convene faculty opinion to make clear to the leadership that they have to take steps right now. Last week, the graduate student government at IU took a vote of no confidence against the provost. Whether faculty follow suit is still up in the air. But Robinson says they hope IU can resolve the issues before it comes to that. When it comes to graduate worker pay, salaries vary pretty widely all across the country. There's a new report from The Guardian that shows that Princeton raised wages to about $40,000 back in January. Brown University also increased the graduate worker pay to about $42,000. But there are a lot of colleges across the country that pay a lot less, hovering around $20,000 a year. And keep in mind, pay can vary based on a graduate student's field of study. To see which schools were ranked best nationwide for their graduate worker salaries, head to our website right now at WTHR.com. And that's a wrap of tonight's big story.